first i will share the video then harshit sir will comment on it and then other participants can share their comments we we'll talk well, uh, it would be good to talk over together as we have talked over fear pleasure sorrow pain and death i think we ought to talk over this morning the very complex and subtle problem of what is meditation it is quite a serious issue and perhaps some of you will kindly pay sufficient attention to what is being said if you care to this word has is now becoming so common even the governments are beginning to use it even the people who want money are trying to meditate more to get more money they are trying to meditate in order to become quiet so that they can do better business and the doctors are practicing meditation because they will help them to operate properly and so on and on and on and on and there are different kinds of meditations zen tibetan and the ones you invent for yourself and with all this in mind the indian type of meditation the tibetan the zen the encounter group meditation and the aspiration to be have a, a quiet still quiet silent mind bearing all this in mind let's try to find out if we can this morning what it is why one should meditate and what is the significance of meditation this word has been recently been popularized from india and people go to india and to japan and other places in order to learn meditation in order to practice meditation in order to achieve some kind of result through meditation enlightenment better understanding of themselves have a peace of mind whatever that may mean and generally they have a little peace but not peaceful mind and the gurus have invented their own med- type of meditation and so on and on and on right i'm sure you are aware of all this and of course there is the passing fad which is called transcendental meditation because it is really a form of siesta in the morning siesta after lunch siesta after dinner or before dinner so that your mind kind of becomes quiet and you can do more mischief afterwards <laughs> so consider all this the various types and practices and systems and question them it is good to have doubt 
It's good to have to be skeptical up to a certain point. Like a dog on the leash. You must let the dog go occasionally, run freely. So doubt, skepticism must be kept on a leash all the time, but often it must be allowed to run free. And most of us accept the authority of those who say, we know how to meditate, we will tell you all about it. So, please, we are together examining the whole problem or the whole question of what is meditation, not how to meditate. But then if you ask, how am I to meditate, then you will find a system to meditate. The how implies a method. But whereas if you are inquiring into this question of what is meditation and why should one meditate, then we will never ask how to meditate. The very questioning the very asking is the beginning of inquiry, which is the beginning of meditation. As we said, it's a very complex problem, and we have to go very slowly and hesitantly, but subtly, into this pro- into this question. As we said during the last week, that we are investigating, that we are (coughs) inquiring into it, so that you are not listening to the speaker, you are asking the question to yourself and finding the right answer, (coughs) without accepting any kind of authority. especially the authority of the speaker sitting on this unfortunate platform. It doesn't give him any authority because he sits on a platform and talks. There is no authority in so-called matters of spiritual matters, if I can use that word, spiritual, in the matter of the spirit, in the matter of inquiry into something that demands very, very, very careful examination. So we are doing this together, not meditating together, but inquiring what is meditation, and from that discover for oneself, as we go along, the whole movement of meditation. Is this all right? First, I think one must be careful in observing that Meditation is not something that you do. Meditation is something entirely a movement into the whole question of our living. That's the first thing. How we live, how we behave, whether we have fears, anxieties, sorrows, we are are pursuing everlastingly pleasure, whether we have built images about ourselves and about others, we must, that is part of our life and in the understanding of that life and of those 
various issues involved in life and being free from those, actually being free, then we can proceed to inquire into what is meditation. Professor. Yeah. <coughs> good good evening, friends. I am I was requested to select a video and make some comments. I selected this video, which is a short video about meditation. And it is a very important topic for almost all people whether they are interested in Krishnamurti or not, because life is so busy. People, everybody is very busy and getting tired and many problems. So people would like to feel some peace, clarity in their own mind, because if the mind is going very, very fast, we cannot see clearly. And so meditation probably has to do with slowing down of our mind. And then we can see very clearly how what is happening within us. So there are many methods, uh, as Trikmiji said, uh, many, many different gurus all over the world and each of them, they may have their own method, but uh, Krishnamurti's, Krishnamurti's way, he, he doesn't believe in any method, any system, not even achieving anything except understanding our own mind, that means looking very, very clearly what is happening within us. And generally, people want to achieve by this meditation. They want to become more efficient, or if they have some problems, they want to solve their problems so that they become more efficient and they can earn more money, they become more they become more famous, uh, achieve something. But in Krishnamurti, it is not about achieving anything. Are you able to hear my voice? Is it clear? Kamleshi? Hello? Kamleshji, are you there? Okay, all right. Thank you. Because I am not uh, getting, uh, because sometimes the picture on this screen, it got frozen. So I thought maybe there is some problem with the internet. So what I'm saying that everybody, uh, most people, are interested in learning how to meditate. And uh, there are many different methods and gurus, they give you mantra, they charge some money, and it, it has become a business also. But in Krishnamurti, there are no methods, only one has to be quiet, sit quietly, observe the mind, what is happening. And that may be difficult, I feel, for most people. Uh, they cannot sit quietly also. Uh, if there is a group of people, then maybe they get some 
uh, encouragement from the group to be quiet. So I remember that one time when I had gone to a meditation group in Canada and my friend took me and there was one room, uh, this one in one tour, and uh, there, there were uh, 25 people sitting in the room quietly for one hour. And uh, they were in kind of a perfect position of a yoga position and closing their eyes. And for one hour, they could sit. So for me, it was very difficult because I have not practiced this kind of meditation of sitting for one hour, closing the eyes. And after this one hour of meditation was over, and I was going with my friend, uh, my friend and her boyfriend. They both were in the car. And after one hour of meditation, they were quarreling with each other. It means that they did not really refresh their mind, you know. They could sit quietly for one hour, but they were not able to understand each other and having a lot of conflict in their relationship. So uh, I I like then what Krishna Ji says that meditation means to look inward, see the problems as they are, and not trying to fight with this problem, but observe and let it pass. And that requires a lot of patience, curiosity, uh, honesty to look at oneself. And that is what Krishnaji says, that it is not for uh, 10, 15 minutes in the morning and 10, 15 minutes in the evening and in between like that. And then the rest of the day, you are not aware of what is happening. Of course, uh, people say that uh, transcendental meditation has helped them in becoming uh, quieting down the mind. Uh, many scientific research also done. So I am not against those methods if those methods are helping people even to become a little better, understand their mind become more efficient, it is all right. Even uh, many people go for Vipassana meditation and there they have to remain quiet for several days, not talking with anybody. And um, they find it very difficult because our mind, the nature of the mind is to keep on chattering, whether we like it or not. And then when you are all by yourself in a room and uh, there is nothing to do, no book, no television, you have to just be by yourself. Many people find it like a torture for two, three days. But once they begin to uh, get used to that kind of quiet environment, then they begin to be aware of their breathing, about their thoughts going in their mind. And after 10 days, many people say that it has helped them. And some people go again and again for this kind of meditation, vipassana retreat. I myself have not done any kind of this course. Only thing which I did was to read Krishnamurti book and observe that how this, this thing, which we call I or me arises, this Krishnamurti calls a thinker. And uh, Krishnamurti said that our problems, they come from thinking. And from thinking comes the thinker, this sense of I or me. So, and once this sense of I or me comes, this thinker, 
then it tries to change thought and says, I like it, I don't like it, and all that duality starts. So I was very curious to observe this, how this thinker comes. And so you have to go right at the source from where thinking arises. And to go right at the source of thinking, one needs to be very, very alert, very silent, very curious, very attentive to observe the beginning of a thought. And when I tried to do that, uh, my mind stopped and there was nothing, but there was something else, no thinking, no feeling, but a kind of awareness. And it was a wonderful state. And so I felt that yes, what Krishnamurti says is correct, that if we can observe our own mind without the thinker coming, then there is no duality. Then there are no problems. Thinking may go on. It's not a problem. Thinking is not an enemy, as sometimes Krishnamurti said, thinking is an enemy. It is an enemy if there is no awareness. But with awareness in the background, thought can go on just like clouds going on in the sky. You can't do anything about those clouds. They come and go, and after some time, there is a blue sky and no clouds. So similarly, our mind is like that. Uh, there are thoughts, uh, and they come and go, and then there, there are nothing, no thoughts. There is a pure awareness, and that in that there is some kind of uh, re regeneration happens that we become uh, more alert, more uh, energetic, and it helps us in everything what we do throughout the day. So this is what Krishnaji says is very good, perfect, but it may suit very, very few people. And most people, when they become silent, they get frightened because it is like a psychological death, no, no thought. And so uh, most of us, we don't like to be silent. We like to occupy our mind with some activity. It may be reading Krishnamurti or watching video, even about meditation and thinking about it. So uh, this meditation, is not thinking about what Krishnamurti is saying and trying to understand the concept. That would be a kind of an intellectual understanding. And we can understand intellectually everything what Krishnamurti is saying. But the real thing is doing it. A real being is silent and observing, observing the tree or the uh, faces of people. And it has nothing to do by just remaining in a room and closing our eyes. It can go on while we are walking on the street or traveling in a bus or a train or walking in the park. So what Krishnamurti says is very, very good. But uh, it seems to me that people are not interested. They want to become a little bit better so that they can face the problem uh, in their life in a better way, but not becoming free from the problems. So Krishnamurti's teachings are at the highest level. And uh, Krishnamurti speaks from his level. And that may be uh, difficult for most people. I will, uh, I feel that and uh, Krishnamurti himself felt that very few people could understand what he was saying uh, and really live that way. It means It means being effortlessly 
aware, ongoing awareness, effortless, without any motive, without any direction. And in such state of awareness, if there is anger, if any anger or fear or any thought comes, can be seen clearly as it is without the thinker arriving, uh, arising and saying, I don't want it. I want to change. I want to become better. Not like that. So in Krishnamurti's words, thought creates the thinker and the thinker tries to change thought. So there is a duality between what is and what should be. And the teachings are about living with what is and moving with it, not changing to what should be. So in that, I feel that moving with what is the thinking, there is no psychological time there. Though thinking is there, a kind of movement is there, the psychological time comes when there is a duality, where there is a thinker, there is a sense of me who wants to change. So I find Krishnamurti's teachings are very good, but people who don't understand, then for them it is better that they practice various methods and then slowly they can come up to uh, this state of awareness, effortless awareness. And then there is nothing to be done except this watching which can go on by itself without doing anything about it. So I am not against gurus. I am not against methods. If people are benefited by these gurus and methods, they are become a little better. It's fine. Krishnamurti talks about the ultimate and very few people are willing to go all that way. So, okay, I have finished right now. Uh, maybe some people who would like to make comment. Um, Prasadji, if you would like to talk about anything. Your voice not because, uh, uh, Harsha is yeah. very gentle and polite. I think uh, that is his. Uh, mm. I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> I don't mean anything. Possibly it is his Gujarati background <laughs> because <laughs> Gujaratis are supposed to be very gentle and uh, all that. Why I'm saying it is. Uh, he said, I am not against gurus. I am not against the practices and all that. Uh, that is being a little conservative. I mean, for the want of a better term, I'm using that. I'm meaning more like a joke, you know. Uh, I hope uh, Harshaji will understand, definitely. Krishna, uh, Krishna ji obviously is against gurus and uh, all that type of thing. And uh, my feeling is, once we realize the significance of what he is saying, it won't be difficult at all. We are making his uh, teaching a little difficult by accepting it in parts. There is nothing like pregnancy in parts. You are either pregnant or you are not pregnant. Like that, either we accept the Krishna Ji in total or we reject him totally. We can reject him also. There is no problem about it. Why he is, what he is saying is, what is meditation? It is not how to meditate. How to meditate is a method. So many methods are there and all the methods aim at achieving a result. There is nothing like, in his view, meditation doesn't lead to any particular result. 
it is not for achieving anything. I mean, everybody is meditating for achieving a result. I know one uh, uh, Murti Sahib knows him, must be knowing him in uh, late 70s and all that. He was a big uh, pharmacist, uh, I mean, pharmaceutical company owners. He would ask all his employees to do meditation in the morning. They would gather round and do meditation. See, when you are an employer, the employee is at your behest. He would oblige you. He would do whatever you ask him to do. Just to please you, he would uh, do it. So, why these methods? Krishnaji, it is only to live. Harshaji has himself said it. It is trying to live with the facts of life. To move with what is. That is what Harshaji has said. And that is absolutely correct. We have to move with what is. Which means you move with, you observe what is outside. You observe what is inside also. What is inside is very important. Because in that short video, Krishnaji has said, you find out what is your life. Your, what is your life? Your sorrows, your envies, your jealousies, your jealousy of your neighbor. All these things, that is important. We have to see ourselves. And we cannot see if we are tethered by a belief, by a tradition, by a system, by a guru's uh, dictates. That is authority of the guru. Once you accept a guru and you cease to be enlightened to yourself, then you are under him. You lose your freedom. And why do you lose your freedom? You observe yourself. Krishnaji himself says, I am sitting on this unfortunate platform. Unfortunate platform. You see that word. My sitting here doesn't give me any authority. We are inquiring together. So, when we are together, we inquire together. Otherwise, when you are going in a bus or a train or by plane, you observe yourself. There is no limit or frontier for meditation. You can meditate any time, any, any, anywhere, any time. So, he is giving us freedom and let us not curtail that freedom by accepting by accepting other gurus also. Any guru, I mean, any guru, even Krishnamurti, you can reject him also, so long as you are observing yourself. You are living with, you are swimming with what he is. That is what is required. Once you are, then you know, it is a cleansing process. You are cleansing your insight. It is a kind of purgatory. You, you get out of your earth all the things, the rubbish which you gather. So many things, the propaganda, the result of propaganda. So, so your mind is under so much of, uh, you know, pressure. All those pressures you can remove and be with what is. That is his, as I understand. Nobody understands him possibly. Uh, I, I, I don't claim at all to be understanding him. But that is my take on Krishnamurti. That is, I think, what he is saying. I mean, I mean nothing... Uh, uh, I mean, about would uh, uh, Harshaji. Uh, I have great respect for Harshaji and uh, his uh, very, very, you know, 
he is helpful and uh, he is a gentle he was a teacher and so he is very gentle and the guiding step by step and all that thank you sir thank you <clears throat> <clears throat> उट एक्सेप्टिंग और रिजेक्टिंग वट कृष्ण मूर्ति सिंह one can test it out and the first question arises is it possible to be with what is outside and also within so if one finds that yes it is feasible maybe one cannot do it for a long period but it can be done then one can watch oneself because watching thoughts and watching i is the same thing because after all i am my thoughts then the feelings can also be watched if i am feeling sad or even joyous and i can see that if in those moments i am thinking about it i am not able to watch and understand that feeling to be in contact with it so the same is true about i also watching within the movement of this i without uh, expecting any silence but being open being open to it and in that way perhaps one can go deeper into it and if there is resistance that resistance also can be watched and in this observation it it is also important to watch the gaps between thoughts and to see that especially when one watching feeling to see that the entity who is watching this feeling and this feeling are they different they become different when i start thinking about them so i think these experiments are uh, very significant thank you sir pradeep <coughs> ji yes good evening friends it was it was uh, audible to all yeah so yeah, yeah. it's such as <clears throat> nice small video has started already spreading its tentacles all around beautifully because of harshad ji whatever he said and prasad ji making his point very clear which seems to be little away from what harshad ji was talking about in the last last of his um, submission you see he said i am not against guru or systems of meditation harshad bhai okay 
suppose I he also has been emphasizing JK all through. The first step is the last step. If I happen to take my first step wrong, there is very likelihood to come back to myself back. There are all chances that I am I am engaging in something. I am engaging means this shows myself, my intention, my desires, all that. So this itself may lead me to far away from myself. So that is one danger. Then he has in this small video, he has given a word sketch of a big scenario around the word meditation. Where the point is, where am I standing in this scenario? Where am I standing? Why I am? Why I am in it? Listening to what? Is it my question? What it has given me? Where do I stand? Do I need system? Do I need this or that and that and that? Everything. So it brings me back. It's a U-turn towards me. Although it's very clear in this video that you have to discover yourself through inquiry about yourself and your daily living, your moments you are living in day-to-day -day life. This is what meditation is. Even if it is not my question or it was never a question, my question, even then this discussion, this this small video gives me very important clues about being attentive about my thoughts, about my desires, about my motives and all that. So it's an important thing. It's an important thing. And um, we, cannot, we cannot escape. If we escape right in the beginning, you see, Right in the beginning that somebody will give me this, whatever is, uh, the, the, whatever is the result or gift of meditation. And there are people who say that through uh, transcendental, I have got this and that and that and that, that. So it has become a memory in their mind. But the day of the, the way we live continues. That TMV is not no more there. Or if it is a there, it is there as a system, then it is time bound. What Krishnamurti is hinting at, the moment to moment awareness, this is how I take it. So there is nothing very complicated about this um, video. We can always uh, complicate it. Uh, in our own way, because that is what conditioning is. That, that is what uh, my conditioning is. So regarding this video, I have to say this much only. So it's, it's, it's a thorn, I am, oh, I take full responsibility of my onus. The whole onus is on me. That is the, in short, the message I got from this. It's a, a, a little diversion, friends, little diversion. Uh, it's a sad day for India, for this country, with the passing of Ratan, Ratan Tata. You see, I was listening, I was seeing those things, this thing, uh, and certain points, certain quotes, what Ratan da Tata has uh, said sometime is very much, very much related to what Jake said. You see, what is the, he was asked this question, what is the problem in this country? He said, the main problem of this country is that we are too much individualistic. Suddenly, it started haunting his words, you are not an individual, you are not an individual. But uh, he, he, he was a, regarding leadership lesson, he was interviewing uh, 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 Narayan Murthy and they talked about compassionate capitalism. 
another important thing which i was listening to in the uh, with that when the uh, hearts were being taken to the burial place in worli capitalism so he said capitalism in his mind but compassion in his heart again i it reminded me of krishna murti so many things your mind is in your heart so that way th these this great man krishna murti and all the, they strike you back they they, they 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 become something like rivers of and the confluence of certain different rivers so uh, uh, when his mortal remains were being taken suddenly it started raining out in indore what a tribute to that soul so uh, of course i was sipping at that time tata gold tea but that is not all the things uh, i enjoy with him i consider him consider him uh, a great patriot a great man great man i never knew that i loved him so much captain tata with no experience with no personal uh, connection but still social connection immense immense you see uh, this uh, so much my daughter mukta has already written in her uh, mm, uh, this post today in facebook about her memories with jamshed ji not ratan tata when she was working with pmtc tata management training center she has written in in, uh, in her post today uh, a good tribute to him he, another word they have used a giant a gentle giant again you see a similarity between krishnamurti and ratan tata then i was listening about sudha murti and ratan tata oh beautiful all these celebrities with so much they have done so much and they have seen wealth so much and still by heart a simple man he was so that was the great thing i wanted to share with my friends and that is why i felt today i really felt it thank you <coughs> dinesh ji would like to say. are you able to hear my voice sir clearly yes yes okay uh, today is the subject is very complex this meditation is very complex even the teachings if we go then there are so many things uh, jk has mentioned over the years the video is also incomplete it's a very short video and uh, the, the, it is incomplete because jk has said only about what is meditation now how to proceed because he said if you do these preparations then we can discuss about what is meditation and uh, he has also indicated that uh, meditation means to be free and preparation is to be done to be free from fear sorrow etc then he said we can discuss about meditation only if uh, first this freedom is achieved or one is free from all these things if we see the whole teachings then we will find that jk has stress on many things about meditation this i am talking but the case uh, the core is to become free from the self and ultimately there is only immense remains remains or that uh, reality which is uh, with uh, beyond time and all that that remains uh, instead of method if we see then we have to consider freedom of mind by right thinking psychological free, uh, free from uh, sentiments and replace it with the sensitivity understand awareness and the religious mind and the religious mind but unfortunately what has happened whatever he has talked 
uh, he has used if you see if we try to understand that then there are so many things coming up so many things coming up where it is not easy as arshad parekh uh, sir said it is not so easy for uh, a common man to understand all these things and uh, uh, to go with that so uh, if we consider the tradition also then tradition has got basically five words dharana dhyan samadhi sayam and yog so all these uh, things has got different meaning and he has mixed up all the things if we go seriously or if anybody goes uh, with that uh, actually he has talked about not only meditation but contemplation also he has mixed if we uh, try to find out the english word equivalent to that then contemplation also he has done in uh, this so uh, one becomes uh, 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 not confused i say but uh, he is not very clear what uh, he is trying to say uh, anyway uh, whatever he has indicated that is the right um, uh, if it is not uh, we cannot say it path but uh, these are the things uh, that we have to understand the conditioning then we have to go for the self knowing and then we have to be free from the psychological sorrows and pains then we have to go for the right thinking then uh, we should understand what is religious mind scientific mind etc and ultimately we have to uh, awaken our intelligence if possible and then uh, we have to do uh, go for the that dimension which is beyond understanding awareness choiceless awareness etc etc Uh, again when you go beyond uh, this uh, choiceless uh, with with uh, that dimension beyond uh, this dimension then the tradition has used the word yoga ultimately it is yoga so uh, remaining the same uh, this thing uh, end uh, result if we cannot say it end result but uh, end uh, he has also spoken about the uh, yoga only so uh, one has to really uh, go in details uh, what is trying to say because he has used uh, uh, this move this is movement of um, uh, this uh, this is meditation is a movement then meditation is silence of mind this everybody has talked right from the zen buddhism to your uh, even transcendental meditation and all you you take a uh, name any even vivekananda has talked about that and uh, others have also talked and they have got their own uh, methods and all that uh, they have prom- why they have promoted the methods because uh, to uh, uh, take the common man to that level vipassana also if you see uh, it is a buddhist uh, meditation it is also the same thing you go for the um, uh, uh, seven days uh, this thing and uh, in uh, uh, what we can say retreat or whatever you say and then you don't talk uh, with each other and you go for the sensations and uh, you go for the vibrations etc there are steps so that is also one of the things uh, everybody has talked about that moment of silence and all that so where uh, the krishna murti stands in tradition also they talk about shambhavi diksha shambhavi means you just uh, tell uh, your um, disciple Uh, whatever the uh, whatever the reality is or truth is and he will understand automatically or uh, immediately so uh, that thing is and that is supposed to be for the uh, that is supposed to be uh, for the man who ha- who is very intelligent who is very he has done all the you know, sadhana in the past life and all that so uh, this seems to be very close to that what krishna murti says but this is very uh, very difficult for the common person and um, even he he talked about the perception total perception total perception means uh, you see the totality of uh, whole the game game of all this life and you understand what is uh, what is happening in this and uh, what are the problems and what is the avidya and what is uh, uh, what are the other issues and you just see uh, it and remain away from it like uh, a boy uh, kid uh, remains away from the fire 
so and immediately you will understand what uh, uh, the guru is going to say or is uh, is uh, indicating so uh, this is what um, uh, krishna murti is uh, it is difficult to understand the krishna murti because so many words he has used means sometimes he has used love, love. pardon yes ji can you speak yes. about what you do meditation when you do how do you do it no i go for the method sir i go for the method even he has talked about yeah. uh, with the students here he has talked about uh, no method but when he talks yeah. uh, with the students and with the um, uh, your boys and all that in a uh, school he, he talks about the method so i have also no, gone for the method yeah no you speak about what you feel no not about other people what they do but how do you do meditation if you do i i sit uh, with a normal posture uh, erected posture and i go for the med- of this uh, uh, meditation uh, which i understand as for my understanding and then um, and, uh, there is, there are the vibrations of the kundalini and all that and then i go for the this thing here it is very clear sir if you want to mm-hmm. clear up your past only those can clear up past immediately who are who mm-hmm. is having the fresh energy available to them if that fresh uh, energy is not available then it is very difficult to remove the past and time uh, comes into picture time doesn't come into picture when your uh, fresh energy is very uh, uh, piercing or penetrating or it is uh, able to remove the, uh, the whatever the damages of the past so that is the thing in my case i i go for the uh, yes time is taking and uh, i am doing the meditation with sitting uh, erect and all that and i go for the methods also and i club the uh, krishna murti teaching also with that so i am having uh, i am clubbing many things like uh, what arvind has said and this thing and i find that that is suitable for me and whatever suit- is suitable for me i am go- doing with that and i found right. that uh, there are there are number of changes in me that's what my finding is whatever uh, 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 I I can't give certificate to me, but uh, people yes. around me can give certificate only. But there are a lot of changes. Yes. Whatever yeah. he has said about the fear and uh, this jealousy, and uh, there are so many things. This uh, I could able to uh, not if uh, if not get rid of them, uh, but at least uh, uh, the intensity of uh, those uh, feelings and emotions have gone to a very. Um, Uh, means uh, lesser uh, this thing intensity has become l- low uh, so pain has also become low but of course i am facing the pain but it is uh, still i can manage with that uh, similarly uh, thinking thinking has also improved a lot uh, means right thinking and all that so uh, there is a uh, lot of so so thought has has been um, now uh, working in a very uh, in mm-hmm. a precise manner and all that and there are some insights also coming automatically and all that so uh, about me i can say this much only uh, okay but uh, yes there are other uh, today... people like to say okay okay other people let other people like. speak now thank you hmm. adin you would like to speak uh no i think someone else can go first okay. i'll speak later okay ravi ravi koshal yes sir yes sir am i audible sir hello am i audible sir yes yeah i speak am i audible sir Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, this is a very good topic. This. What is meditation? So, <laughs> so there is there is a case saying that uh, there is a way to think on that thing. Either you think in terms like how to meditate or what is meditation. So inquiring into what is meditation is self meditation. So uh, and then uh, this uh, uh, Ashut Parikh sir says that meditation means uh, slowing down the mind. So I object that, sir. Why? Why meditation slow down your mind? 
uh, but I am asking the question. It's not that uh, I'm agreeing or disagreeing, but uh, I'm asking this. Why uh, a meditative mind be uh, a very slow mind? So this is my question. And then, uh, you know, uh, you said, uh, uh, when I'm trying to do that, when I'm trying to, you know, meditate, my mind become quite uh, kind of thing, you know, uh, this is this is all uh, like you know there is a trying, there is a trying, there is a hurt. So isn't it uh, the the process of thought which wants to become something? And uh, to see that thing is uh, one thing. Uh, if you see that theory, uh, if we see that theory, and uh, in the process of seeing, I think uh, when you uh, you know, uh, what might this do? When when you what does it mean meditation? Yeah. 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 It's seen. It's seen. Whenever you can, anybody can see the beauty of this. As Clay said, that nobody can teach you. It's it's a thing. If you understand and and you apply, then you know that. And and it's not applying. It's not doing. It's not an. It's not effort. And uh, what might this? It's, it's, it's a, uh, you see the process of thought. You see the process of all trying, all meditation to become more, you know, uh, more articulate, more, uh, more becoming like things. Hello, am I audible, sir? Yes. Hello, uh, finish. Uh, Ravi, have you finished? Okay, maybe Hello? I will make Hello? a... Hello. Hello. So give me two, three minutes, please. I'm saying that this uh, this process of seeing, you know, when, when you see the, all, that, all that trying, all that efforts, all that methods, uh, you know, in that very scene, there is a freedom. In that very scene, that that scene, that meditation, uh, you know, uh, uh, then there is a freedom. Otherwise, there is all, all trying and all that. And uh, you know, how, how, this the very you know accepting the method means you know try to become something kind of things. And sir, uh, this Prashad Mulipuri, uh, uh, he started. I think sir started with this. Uh, Either you accept carefully or reject carefully. I object myself. Why should I reject or accept? Why I can't listen it completely? Why should I go into in terms of rejecting or uh, accepting things? And there is uh, uh, Shakti Sari saying to be with what is. You know, in, in, in this sentence itself, I think, is uh, what does it mean? To be with what is, isn't it? Uh, you know, sound like something effort to be with something. You are affecting. Uh, you, this statement uh, shows you something like that. And the prashad sir said very beautiful things. And you know, you may have memory you know, of all that TMT meditation or Osho meditation or whatever. And but the life is current. Life is now. And you have memories of all that. And uh, there is no connection with that uh, uh, of that memory with this current, uh, you know, living thing. That is right now. Yes, so that is something beautiful. And then when uh, you talk about uh, Tata and uh, uh, Narayan Murthy and all that, and that, that compassionate compa uh, cap capitalism is. So I think they talk like beautiful things, but you know, compassionate capitalism. I mean. What the I don't know, I think this is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, if they, if they, this is, they say something and they do something in their life. Like you see the Narayan Murthy, uh, what he did and how, how he think. He said that, he, uh, uh, he said that, uh, you know, people should work 12 hours a day. This is, and then he talked about compassion, my quote. To see the thing as it is. 
sooner or later it's not in your mind it's not in your control because it's part of the na- natural it has to come out it has to flower it has to move so that's why i feel it's not a cultivation but as early in the previous uh, dialogues also i had mentioned i don't feel it has anything to do with thought because thought cannot be a meditation i don't agree with that any religious person they will use they, they call that thought as meditation they'll open some book and they'll try to follow that book now uh, whichever what will happen if someone comes and says something about this book you know what will happen so i don't believe in you know cultivation of thought uh, i'm getting better and better by following some method and who knows whether that method is good or wrong how do you know you will keep on following years and years maybe it's also doing some damage to you person outside can see it's doing damage you know all these silly methods screaming shouting whatever i don't know you have all these meditation methods you know uh and they say do this and you'll feel some relief okay you will feel relief after screaming and shouting but <laughs> what's the point of it? so uh i don't uh, consider that as meditation so meditation of course what i understand from krishnamurti is awareness and what i say is awareness has nothing to do with thought so it is not cultivation cultivated you cannot cultivate it Harshad ji also says it's like uh, clouds are coming and going in the sky and uh, you do not do anything about it in awareness. And in awareness, the thinking is not a problem. So thoughts and feelings will come up you know, naturally on their own, but they don't become a problem because you're not fighting against it or you're not, your thought is not acting upon the, those feelings. That feeling doesn't get converted into a thought. so you don't have any conflict in it so it flowers naturally on its own it doesn't mean that all my habits are over i still have lot of habits but i don't have a conflict so much as before with the habits so like if when i wanted to speak the bell rang and i had to do something else okay then i go there but if i start thinking oh my goodness why this person had to come now only and ring the bell all these things why to give that important you know it has come you go you open you come back and then so that's what i want to say meditation is not a cultivation meditation cannot be a method it cannot be a thought it is something which is natural uh it's because we are given so much importance to thought uh the the thought creates hurt and then you find a solution for that thought it doesn't make sense so on one hand you are hurting yourself and the other hand you are finding a solution so yeah it's like a, a undivided flow uh, which is natural which is not based on thought which is having some space yeah that's what i would say is meditation yeah okay thank you yeah i i want to make one or two comment uh i have come across people they say that they can't even finish one page of krishnamurti and while reading they go to sleep it doesn't make any sense to them what krishna ji is saying on the other hand there are people who have understood what krishnamurti is saying but they can't live that way so it creates more conflict in them there is the intellectual understanding but cannot live so they can't get sleep at night and there are many people who have spent many years in krishnamurti but they felt that they have really not become free from many many problems so like one professor who was even giving talks on krishnamurti he came to krishna ji and said that sir i have studied your teachings for 30 years but i have not moved that means i have not really changed and krishna ji said you have not moved because you have not stopped that means stopping means really looking at oneself with a curiosity and that first step 
is very difficult for most people. So they can, such people, I feel that if they are taught some method like breathing, pranayam, and certain uh, like ringing a bell and ask them to be in tune with the sound which comes. So certain method, it can develop in them the ability to attend. And it may be initially attend to the outside thing, but later on, they can begin to attend to what is happening within oneself. And that is the Buddhist method, which is a gradual method. And they are also able to produce people of very deep understanding and uh, uh, freedom. But uh, Krishnaji doesn't allow the time. He says either you understand now or never. Uh, means in the present moment, only you can understand. So Krishnaji's stand is very, very a radical stand. And it may not help many, many people who are slow in, ab in their ability to look inward. So they can be helped in a gradual way. I, that's what I feel. Though for myself, I don't follow all these gradual methods or anything. Uh, for me, it was very easy to understand Krishnamurti very quickly, but it is not so for many students and teachers of Krishnamurti schools also. So uh, Krishnamurti's, uh, Krishnamurti's uh, way is very difficult for most people. Okay, I'm finished. Gayatri is waiting. Yeah, it is now. And so I have tried Gayatri. to unmute her, but she is not. Gayatri is waiting. Mic. No, okay, okay. Okay. Who is speaking now? Gayatri is muted. Gayatri is muted. So I am trying to unmute her. He is not saying anything. Okay. Uh, may I say something? Yeah. Okay. Pradeep ji, you want to say something? Yes, yes. Just two yeah. sentences. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Frequently, we, uh, frequently we talk about that common people cannot understand. What at that moment we make ourselves uncommon unnecessarily because we are educated, because we understand this language in which he was talking about. We understand it because of certain things, status, certain places I have been to. Based on that, uh, we say that common people cannot understand. But what could be better than seeing, there is a book, Kabir and Krishnamurti, you see? Kabir, Kabir, how could Kabir get it? See, those are the people, those are the people they could get it very easily without reading even Krishnamurti. You don't have to read, that's right. But how can you read all the books? So much earlier, much earlier, Tukaram and all these people coming for different uh, at times traditions, but ultimately they come to Love. You see, Gojohana wo Othi Padipad Jagmoya Pandit Bhayana Koi Dhai Akhar Ka Prem Dhai Akhar Prem Ka Padhe So Pandit Hoi. So when Prem is the thing, ultimate thing is the Prem. So where is the question of common or uncommon? By saying that they are common, we make ourselves authority just because we can understand English, we can understand. 
uh, intellectually or because of our inquiry toward these things, we could understand it in a logical way differently. But common people, they understand it. They live it very, very, you see their lives very lovingly, caring for each other, taking care of different people along them. So this is not common or non-common or arduous. Nothing is there. We make these things arduous. We make these things difficult by saying that it is, oh, it is not for you. It is for everyone. Thank you, friends. I have taken one yeah. more minute. That's, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think it is the language, Krishnaji's language is not easy for... Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. also like Arbindo's language is very difficult. Yes. Like yes. Kabir, yes. Kabir is very simple. So people yes. can understand Kabir, you know. Yes, yes, yes. that's right. Yes. So today's Anand Ki Jai. I think it is time now, 7.30. Yes. Yeah, we can stop, I think. Yeah. Gayatri is ready to say, give her some time, just one or two okay. minutes. Yeah, okay. Gayatri can speak. Yeah. Hello, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, sorry, sorry. My speaker was off and that's why I was uh, I was speaking, but you guys were not able to hear. So thank okay. you for uh, allowing me to speak. I just want to make <laughs> two quick points. I think, you know, Krishnanji always said that there is no method and don't ask me how and all that. I think he has given us awareness. He has uh, spoken a lot about awareness. If we are just aware of what is going on within us and outside us. So I think that will really help. And second point I want to make is uh, somewhere he said that, uh, you know, if we don't try to change ourselves, we just observe, then that thing that is going on, so whatever envy or whichever thing, the vice is happening, then it will correct itself. So he, he said that just observe and don't try to modify, change or transform or everything. Just be aware. That's it. Two points only. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Kamleshji, we can stop now. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.